Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle in because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX has been busy preparing for its Inspiration4 launch, which is a multi-million dollar fundraiser for St. Jude's Children's Hospital and, like a lot of recent flights to space these days, an effort to convince those watching from the ground that space won't always be exclusive to government officials and the ultra-wealthy. The mission will send four private citizens above the Earth, where they will float for three days before falling back down and splashing into the ocean. Jared Isaacman, a billionaire entrepreneur and philanthropist, booked the Crew Dragon capsule last year and picked three normal folks to ride with him. It will be the first completely private mission to orbit. The Inspiration4 crew is slated to launch atop SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, buckled inside the same Crew Dragon capsule that nearly a year ago sent a four-person crew of government astronauts to the International Space Station and back. This mission's destination is about 80 miles higher than the ISS. In orbit, they will view the Earth through two windows and a new glass dome that was added to the top of the capsule, where Crew Dragon's ISS docking door was. The crew will re-enter the atmosphere after three days, depending on the weather around Florida, and splash down in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX recovery teams will likely meet up with the capsule, hoist it onto a ship, extract the crew and bring them ashore. Isaacman, a trained pilot and the founder of a payment processing company, is the commander of the flight. He has said he wanted to arrange a diverse crew of passengers who were not billionaires. He paid for all four seats on the Crew Dragon and dropped the first $100 million of a $200 million fundraiser for St. Jude, a non-profit research facility and hospital that provides free care for children with cancer. Isaacman reserved two of the seats for St. Jude. One would go to the winner of a fundraising campaign and the other would go to Arkanar, who works at St. Jude as a physician assistant in Memphis, Tennessee and will serve as the mission's medical officer. She is a childhood cancer survivor who is helping the mission raise money and awareness for the hospital. Isaac Min's other partners are Cyan Proctor, who is the mission's pilot, a geosciences professor at South Mountain Community College in Arizona, and a science communicator who has dreamed of going to space since she was a child. Proctor's father worked for NASA at a tracking station in Guam during the Apollo 11 mission that landed the first humans on the moon. Proctor applied to be a NASA astronaut for the class of 2009, but was ultimately not selected. She is an Afrofuturism space artist whose inspirational video and art propelled her into a seat to space. She thought her dreams of going to space would never come true until she got the call from the Inspiration4. And Chris Zembrowski, who is an Air Force veteran working for aerospace giant Lockheed Martin. He is a data engineer and a former space camp counselor and will be a mission specialist for the flight. Zembrowski won the seat after making a donation to St. Jude through a fundraising campaign organized as part of Inspiration4. When announced in February, Inspiration4 was billed as a fundraiser for St. Jude's. The mission has the goal of raising $100 million plus an additional $100 million donated by Isaacman. Raffle ticket sales were expected to contribute a major share of that $100 million, but fell short of initial expectations. The Inspiration4 website states that it has raised $29.2 million toward that $100 million goal as of early September 10th. The mission announced on September 9th that it will carry a diverse payload of items, ranging from memorabilia, to non-fungible tokens, a type of digital collectible, and will later auction to raise additional funds. The crew has been training since March, about seven months before liftoff. That includes centrifuge training to get used to the enormous g-force of lifting off atop a rocket, a microgravity experience aboard a zero-gravity flight, 
and weeks of training at SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California to familiarize the passengers with Crew Dragon. Mission managers met on Thursday, September 9th to perform a standard flight readiness review before the flight. Along with receiving an initial weather briefing, the decision was made after looking at weather conditions at the launch site, ascent area, and landing sites, along with the readiness of Falcon 9 rocket, Dragon spacecraft, associated ground systems, recovery assets, and other key elements of SpaceX's human spaceflight system. The update said, The new date, the update added, will allow additional time for final preparations, vehicle checkouts, and data reviews. SpaceX and Inspiration4 will narrow down the launch window to five hours, approximately three days before liftoff. There are a few other milestones that must be met before the crew of four rockets into Earth orbit. The Inspiration4 release indicated that more work on the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is still a fairly new vehicle after its first crewed flight in 2020, is forthcoming. The spacecraft was successfully mated with its Falcon 9 rocket and is now expected to have an integrated static fire test targeted for this weekend. Ahead of the launch, the Crew Dragon being used as a vehicle named Resilience, which also flew on SpaceX's Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station for NASA. Resilience will make a solo journey this time, flying higher than the ISS before splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. The mission is a major step for space tourism and one that SpaceX hopes begins a new age of super rich being able to charter journeys into space. It is expected to be followed by a trip to the International Space Station. In other news, an astute Twitter user spotted an odd piece of machinery heading down the German Autobahn highway this week. The machinery, which looked like a pair of giant tank treads emblazoned with the SpaceX logo, seemed to be heading for Austria to a port either in Hamburg, Germany or Rotterdam in Netherlands, they tweeted. Details are scarce for now, but the track is most likely headed overseas to Texas for use at SpaceX's facility in Boca Chica. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk later seemingly confirmed the purchase, tweeting, Our new crane. SpaceX has already been using cranes from Liber at its Boca Chica facility in Texas. Last year, the Bluezilla came to life to put together the Super Heavy High Bay facility According to this report, the crane in use is being rented out by SpaceX. We would need to wait a few weeks to find out about that one. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.